Marshall then will get things underway on playoff hole one. We saw some good tee shots here in regulation, but it was the second shot that caused all the problems. I think he likes it. He does. He's picked the tee up. He's down the right-hand side. He's cut a little bit of the corner off. It's just, just seems to have come to rest in the first cut, but that shouldn't be a big problem. Oh, swinging easy under pressure is still the way forward. And once again, you'd have to say that the, the two guys with experience in this playoff are surely the guys that we're looking at here, Court and Marshall. Now, Court hit a beautiful tee shot earlier today. Another great balance there. That picked the tee up fairly quickly. And a nice little off the cush to the middle of the fairway. What do you think of his swing, Gary? Uh, this is a, a very neat, very simple, very orthodox swing. The club swung up and down on plane. He keeps his swing centre very steady and gives it a good whack with the club head. Very yeah. neat. And this good. one's a bit different, isn't he? A bit this more is, hands. This is definitely much lower plane, much more wrist bend into that. And as you say, more lag, more whip into the ball. And he's come out of this one. He's heading right. Oh, he might have got away with it. He might be able to get in there. Uncharted territory for Mark Young, the Clitheroe Golf Club man. Oh, that doesn't look good the way he's looking at that. Just how does he do this, Gary? Well, this is one of the dangers when you've got such a bend in your wrists and you hold back on the release. If you are a little bit late, the club haste can come in a bit open and send the ball miles right, which is what happened there. Well, this suits Greg Payne. Loves to draw the ball from left to right. The whole suit right to him, and he loves it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that determination on his face. He's taken on court again, isn't he, for the second time. It obviously happened at Longhurst a couple of weeks ago, and this is just, well, take two. Young's ball has found its way in a potentially unplayable lie over on the right-hand side. Andy Marshall may have only just missed the fairway by a couple of yards, but it sat down a little bit in the first cut of rough. So it's very much advantage, Payne and Court, who have both found the short stuff. Well, it's all relative, but could that be good news? Looks like he's found it. Yeah, that was uh, well spotted by the PGA referee who marked it for him. And now we've got Matt Court from the middle of the fairway. Another lovely balance, John. Yeah, it is. Well, strong as a rock. And there you go. Proof is in the pudding. 20 feet pin, high left. Pressure on. Now he's just going to hack this back into play and hope against hope that he can stay in this playoff. He's definitely going to try as we see Greg Payne now. This will be a seven iron for Greg. Middle of the green, draw it in towards that flag. Oh, it just looks like he's come out of this a little bit too much. This one headed down the left-hand side of the green. And that's going to be a lengthy putt. I'm just inches off it. It's very difficult to maintain the balance and everything when you're under this sort of pressure. It's just... It's so difficult, so much time to think on a golf course, isn't there? There is. I mean, Andrew's got to be careful of this one. Could jump on him, could go left. It, there was a lot of grass behind him, and it looks like it's heads down. It's gone to the left. He knows, you know, you give a chance to Matthew Court, he's probably going to take it. He needs to put the pressure on. Well, this is Mark Young hacking it back into play. That is some find down there in the Bundai. I think he was probably lucky that he has a flat swing there, otherwise he'd never been able to get yeah. at that one at all. Yeah, he'd be worn out after that effort. Every inch of his energy. Now, his third needs to get this one close. Definitely needs to make a par to stay in the playoff. That's, you know, kind of permitting. Matthew Court doesn't roll his putt in. Let's hear from Kidd again. After severely pulling his approach into this final hole in regulation, Matt Court has bounced back fantastically in the playoff. He's knocked it into 12 feet. It's uphill. There's barely any movement on it. Firm, left lip, that could be the tournament. Well, there's Jim there, course manager. I wonder what glasses he's got on today. 
They are back to the action, and it's one of those straight shootouts on the putting green. Marshall. Oh, he's got a great roll on that, but unfortunately just wide of the hole, so acknowledges the applause of the crowd. But I think he feels that might have left the door ajar. It was a wonderful putt from long range. He gave it a try. No, Greg Payne's turn. Fractions off the green, up the slope, then sweeps down left to right at the end. He's given it a go. He's given it a go. Oh. And that's another great putt. Great pace putting from both those players, Andrew and Greg. Two superb efforts, no doubt about it. But looking concerned because Matthew Court can take it away from everybody. What a finish for the crowd to enjoy here at the Carrick. There you go, there's a young lad. Trying to, you know, getting inspired by this good golf. Matthew Court now. This for the title. It's looking good. Oh, it is good. It's in. And Court claims the Motor Caddy Masters, the first man on this year's Euro Pro Tour to win two tournaments in the season. And he's had to beat his great mate to do it. He has indeed, and what a way. A four-man playoff comes out trumps with a birdie up 18. And you can just see how they all get along. Look at that. Look at this. He knows it's in. Paints the picture and delivers. So Matthew Court is the last man standing, and he wins his second title of the season at the first playoff hole. I think there were times in that final round when he thought he was out of it, but he's beaten Greg Payne, Mark Young, and Andrew Marshall to win the title here in Scotland. I messed the last up in regulation play. You know, so I thought I'd blown it, but, um, you know, hit a good drive and a, and a good six iron in the playoff hole and, um, you know, nice to hold a putt. I don't think, I mean, I've won a few tournaments, but they always seem to be by a couple of shots where you can just roll it in, roll it up and just two putt. But um, that's one of the few that I needed to hold a putt, you know, so it's a great feeling, yeah.